Hey guys, Harry from Inside Boxing Brain and I'm back for another video. Before I jump into today's subject, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video and drop me a comment in the comment section below as well. Now, I just want to react to the Connor Benz interview on Piers Morgan because over the last few days I've seen a lot of backlash online about it and it made me think that maybe it's a good time to jump online and share my thoughts about that interview. Now, me personally, I'm left with more questions than I am answers, having watched that interview back a few times. And I'm no body language expert, but having looked at his body language and really seen the way he was behaving and conducting himself, it made me think that he isn't sincere. He doesn't come across like somebody who is trying to be transparent about his current situation now the first big red flag that really stood out to me was when his primary defense was the fact that he's 26 and why would he need to be on performance enhancing drugs now at the end of the day i'm no doctor but the amount of young athletes at the moment who are using performance enhancing drugs is very high so age doesn't really come into it. So using that as a defence to me almost seemed like, what are you on about? Like, what relevance has that got to the fact that you failed two different drugs tests? And he went on to explain his position in the sense that he feels like the British Boxing Board of Control have got a vendetta against him when in reality, the British Boxing Board of Control have sanctioned all of his fights up until his last fight and they even sanctioned the the Eubank fight until they pulled it and it was actually Ben who decided to put his license in the bin. The final thing before I get to the knockout blow in terms of why I think he's guilty and something that really stood out to me in his conversation was the fact that he still feels like this failed test was down to someone's incompetence and he feels that he didn't even have Clomid or Clomiphene within his blood or within his body system. And when there are drug testing agencies like VADA telling you that you've failed a drug test and these drugs are in your body, for you to take the stance of I don't believe you, to me is almost laughable. Like what planet is the guy on? How on earth can you sit there and say that, no, this is down to someone's incompetence, maybe it wasn't done on purpose, it was an accident, but I don't feel like these drugs were in my system at all and they've never been in my system. Essentially making a mockery of the sport. And it's almost like, come on, Connor, like, what are you doing? Who's advising you to come out and say these ridiculous things? They make no sense. Surely that can't be Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn seems to have like, you know, a brain cell between his ears. Why would he give you that advice? Whoever is running Connor's PR is having a nightmare with it. It is ridiculous at the moment. He blocked me on Instagram for calling him out and saying I didn't believe the whole hype and speculation of I'm going to prove my innocence. And the final sort of nail in the coffin for him, in my opinion, for all of the fans, because 90% of the comments that I'm getting at the moment on my videos are all against Ben. You get the few ridiculous people claiming, oh, you've just against him and, you know, you're just anti-Ben. When in reality, if Ben has proven his innocence with this 270-page dossier, then why not release it? Why not, pardon the pun, put egg on everyone's face? If you're innocent and you've got the evidence to prove your innocence, then release the evidence so that you are exonerated. <laughs> oh, I guess better. But it's just almost laughable. I don't understand why he would withhold this evidence and it's almost like he feels like he hasn't got anything to prove. When in reality... The boxing community is all against him right now. And I am a Conor Ben supporter. I want him to be innocent. I watched all his fights. I used to buy tickets. I would travel. I would buy the pay-per-view. 
And it makes me think, well, if you've got evidence to prove your innocence, on what planet does it make sense to not produce that evidence so that everybody can see it, make their own assumptions on the evidence and the information within that file, and then you can publicly claim your innocence because you've been proven innocent due to the scientific evidence. But the fact that he's got this document, he's not going to release it, he's going to keep it to himself. He thinks the British Boxing Board of Control have got a vendetta against him. And he feels like the whole boxing fraternity is now plotting because they've got something against him and his father. I mean, come on, there's so many grassroots boxers who don't have the same sort of leg up that you have had. They've not come from... They're not the son of a legend. They've not had the big, you know, agencies behind them like Matchroom Sports and Eddie just throwing money at you because you're a, a cash cow and a big ticket seller. Have some integrity, Connor. Show us the evidence. Release the evidence. Prove your innocence. But no, he's going to keep longing it out. And in my opinion, he's more concerned about being a celebrity, about... His image, which what he said in his own words, why would I ruin the image that I've built? Well, it's not about your image. It's not about your celebrity. It's about the integrity of the sport. This is a blood sport where you can legally take a man or a woman's life in the ring. One punch changes someone's life. And the fact that you can't be transparent about these two failed drugs tests, you can't produce the evidence to exonerate yourself... I really think we need to make an example of you. <laughs> oh, wow. But guys, it's just a quick video from me. I, I'm really unconvinced by Connor. I think this whole situation stinks. As you can see, it is really snowing hard here today. West Yorkshire is coming down. But don't forget to subscribe to my channel, guys. Drop me a comment in the comment section below. I want to catch up with everyone. Do you think he's innocent? Do you think he's guilty? And how do you think his performance, which is what it was on Piers Morgan, really went down with everyone? Guys, I'll speak to you really soon. I'll be back for another video. Boom, boom, boom.